They're, they're some of the best, second to none, absolutely. Uh, probably one of the highlights of my career was racing up with like Staff Mountain Boulder uh, three years ago now, I think. Um, I had tons of friends and family out there, but, but also just the fans in general, they're incredible. And the whole way up that climb, I couldn't hear myself breathe, everyone was screaming so loud. It was just an incredible experience. And actually, uh, last week at Tour of Utah, I got the opportunity to, re to meet uh, Raging Elk Man, I believe it is. And and he's the guy you always see with the big antlers and the jersey, and uh, turns out he's from the Pacific Northwest like I am, and uh, he was, we had a nice chat, but he's at all the races, kind of leading the charge for the fans, so it's it's definitely awesome to, to see him out here and to just see how many people are excited about the race. Yeah, circuits are always great to come see, and then of course on the hills we're going a little bit slower, so you can, you can see more guys come through. Um, I think Lookout Mountain uh, on the Golden Denver stage is a great spot to start, because then by the time we get to the circuit down Denver, you can make it there to see the finish. Uh, I also think A Basin is going to be an incredible mountaintop finish where you'll see guys suffering all over the road for about an hour coming through. Uh, and then also Breck is going to be a really exciting finish with the Moonstone Climb, uh, Taborius Pass, and we'll come through and if you stay the night, you can see the TT the next day. Where do you think the big crowds are going to be this year? Definitely Breck, definitely A Basin. Uh, I've heard they were big here too uh, when the race was here. I, cr I crashed out this stage, so I don't remember. But, uh, I, honestly, there's been amazing crowds everywhere in this race, and I think that this year's going to be no exception.